Okay guys, um, I'm making uh, today's tip a video because it's gonna go way too in depth um, for me to write it all out. So it's just gonna be a lot easier if I, um, I've got notes right here and if I explain it to you. Okay, so today's tip is about, is about leads. What do we do with them? Blitzing, we get leads from vendor events. What you guys need to understand about leads, every lead that you get, from now until the end of eternity, you are always going to keep those leads. You're never going to throw them away. Even if they tell you they're not interested right now, those leads are going to go in a file system or however you keep your leads. Um, but you want to keep track of them. They never, ever get thrown away. And here's why. This business is all about timing, you guys. And 90% um, of the time when you first contact somebody about the business and maybe even the products, it's just not their time. But timing happens and what happens is is people lose their jobs uh, the rug gets pulled out underneath of them they go through divorces um, they lose uh, family members they uh, they need extra income they start thinking they get older they start thinking about not having that plan b so things happen right and that's when we get um that's where we come in so you've got to be in their face. So remember, leads about timing, you never throw them away, first of all. Second of all, every lead that you get, every lead, I don't care what that lead is for, um, every lead is going towards a free drawing, okay? That is how you're getting the lead. Now, let's start with vendor events. We're going to start there first because those are really popular right now. There's so many great vendor events coming up over the next um, few months, Christmas and kids' schools and stuff like that. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about vendor events. Okay, so vendor events, some tips on vendor events. When you are at a vendor event, I want you to remember something key. It's all about quantity, quality versus quantity. You will notice, and, and a really big lesson that I learned in my business in the beginning of my business was um, I would go to these events and every single person that walked by, I would stop them and I would say, hey, want to fill out my drawing to win a free wrap? Want to fill out a drawing to win a free prize? Want to fill a drawing out to win this basket? Everyone did it. Why? Because when people go to those things, they walk to every table and they fill out anything to win something for free. We all love free stuff. But what I was finding what I was I was leaving the vendor event with hundreds of leads. But guess what? I would call all of them and spend days, sometimes two, three days, connecting with them to only get maybe one person, two people. I thought there's got to be a better way. And I found a better way. The better way is quantity versus quality. So what you want to do is start getting quality people to fill out your lead slips. So what I do is I pull people over to the table. I'm trying to create a relationship in that short period of time. I'm not going to stand in front of my table and say, fill this out, fill this out, fill this out. I'm going to stand in front of my table with something that's going to draw them over. Maybe green samples. Maybe um, making something with a protein shake. Maybe asking them um, if they've seen this wrap before and holding up a dry wrap. I'm going to pull them over because they're interested in the product, not winning something for free. Now, once I've got them, we start talking. And if I feel that that person is either A, going to book a party with me, B, interested in the products, or C, interested in the business, I'm going to say to them, I got a great idea. Why don't you fill out my drawing slip to win a free product? I'm doing some um, product drawings, and I'm going to be picking the winners after the event. Why don't you fill one out? And then I ask them, what way would you prefer that I could connect with you? Would you rather I call or text you? Now, I do not ask about email. I don't even offer that as an option. Only if they bring it up and that's the only way they're going to let me connect with them. But I don't bring it up and here's why. Email gets lost. It goes to spam. Sometimes if people don't read it, if they don't recognize what it is, I want to be able to connect with the person. So I'm going to offer them either calling or texting. Now, right now, 90% of people say texting. Um, they just do. People text. It's easier than talking. We feel more free about it. Um, and it's just easier. So I write on the slip te text or talking. Either way, though, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I might leave that event now instead of with 100 leads of people that probably just wanted something for free. Now I'm going to leave with maybe 20 quality leads. Every person I talked to I really felt was going to do something. Now when they walk away from my table, I'm going to pull that lead slip back out of the jug 
that they filled out. And on the back, I'm going to write everything I can remember about that personal because when I do con about that person, because when I do contact them, I want to make my connection with them very personal. So what did we talk about? Did we discuss the business? Did we discuss the products? Did we discuss having a party? What did we talk about? Also, uh, did they mention any health issues? Write that down. Did they have a daughter with them that was cute? Write that down. Anything that is going to make this personal, you're going to write on the back of that slip. Okay, so now you've got your slips, now you've got your 20 good leads, your 30 good leads, and it is the day after the event. You want to strike while the iron's hot. And this is going to go for every lead that you connect with, whether it's an event, whether it is um, blitzing, whether you got them through Facebook, it doesn't matter. You need to connect to people while the iron's hot. And what I mean by that is when they can still remember who you are what the product was, and what their excitement was for the product. How they were like, ooh, that's cool. They're going to forget about that. So 24 hours, period. And so this is what I do. I simply text the person and call, and I say the same thing. Hi. Hey, Sally. This is Lisa, that crazy rap girl from the festival yesterday. I just did my drawing, and you're one of my winners. When can we connect so we can set up a time for you to redeem your prize? That's all I say. And if I call, I say the same thing. Now, I wait for their response back to me, okay? Now, if you call and you get an answering machine, or if you send a text message and they don't respond back, I wait 24 hours. At the 24-hour mark, the very next day, I call or I message and I say, Hey, Sally, it's Lisa, the crazy rap girl. I just wanted to make sure you got my first message that you were one of my winners, and I'd love to set something up so you can redeem your prize. Let me know within the next 24 hours or I'm going to have to pick another winner, okay? That's what I say. When you take it away from somebody, then they tend to call you. Um, it works 90% of the time, and I got that tip from my amazing Triple Diamond Jody Busher, and, and it does work. Okay, so once you get them on the phone, once you get them, um, them to respond back through text, make it personal. Make it personal on the phone. You know, I, after I talked to you yesterday and you were talking about your joint pain, I couldn't help but think how much this relief has helped so many people. And use a story. Um, and your daughter, that bow in her hair was so cute, or her little outfit, or she was just a doll, or your mother was the sweetest thing. Whatever you can do to make it personal, whether it's back in a text message or on the phone call. Now, what do they win? With all these drawings, that is up to you. They can win a free wrap. They could win, maybe you have a good supply of facials and you want to get rid of them, do that. Maybe they want a sample party where they get to sample the greens, the lip and eye cream, which is just a regular party. Maybe they want a free chin and neck wrap party for them and five friends since that you can take one wrap and cut it into six chin wraps. Anything you want, they can win. They can win a candle. It doesn't matter. The goal is, is just to get them on the phone so that you can make that second connection. So don't feel like if you're just getting started out that you can't afford to give away a bunch of free stuff, that's okay. Now, what I will do, though, is I do go through my drawing slips, and anybody that I that talked about the business and I thought would be very good at the business, I am going to give them the free wrap. I just really feel like getting the wrap on them is probably going to push them over the edge. Okay, so really easy, really simple. Simple, huh, guys? Okay, now any of the leads that don't con contact me back, I'm going to put them in a folder, okay? They're going in my leads folder of people that I'm going to connect with. Um, the next time I get a chance, and I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, let's talk about your blitzing leads. Blitzing leads are very crucial, um, and you can do this. You can do the same thing that I'm going to say with the blitzing leads with your other leads if you want as well. Another thing that you can do, and I'm going to explain it right now, is when I'm out blitzing, I want to get their information in my phone right then. So what I do is I wear a lanyard around my neck with the card, um, a blitz, I laminate a blitz card, and it says ask me on it. And what I tell people is, you know what, I just gave away my last coupon. What's your name and number really quick? And I will text you a coupon, and that will automatically put you into my free drawing for free products. It's that easy, okay? I have never had anyone tell me no yet about giving me their name and number. You make it sound so nonchalant. Hey, I just gave away my last coupon, but no worries. What's your name and number real quick and I'll text you a coupon and that energy into my weekly drawing. That's it, okay? They're gonna give it to you. When you ask them to fill out a piece of paper, that takes time, people are busy, they're on the go, and that feels invasive, you're gonna get more no's to that. So save yourself some um, time and, and some coupons, some money, um, by doing it that way. Okay, so. That's their first entry. Now I've got their contact information. This is where it all starts. Now the next day, every single day, 
I sit down, I take time in the morning, and any lead that I got the day before while I was out blitzing, I send them a text message and I say, hey, it's Lisa the crazy rap girl from yesterday. I would just like to give you a chance to have another entry into my drawing, a second entry, so you'll have a double chance of winning. And just all you have to do to do that is click on this link and request me as a friend. And what I do is I copy my Facebook link, I text it to them, and then I have them request me as a friend. Now what I'm going to do that day is I'm going to watch my Facebook friend requests, and when I see them pop in, I'm going to go ahead and add them in as a friend, and then I'm going to write them down in a notebook. Okay, that's a lead. That's not a friend of mine that yet. That is not um, uh, someone on my team. That's someone that I need to be connecting with and learning about and building a relationship with. Okay, so you've got your notebook. You've got your second entry. Now, the third day, I'm going to contact all my leads, and I'm going to say, Hey, I just did my drawing, and guess what? With that second entry, I picked you. You're one of my winners. When can we get on the phone to redeem your prize? Same thing I say at the expo or event. Um, you're you're going to contact people the same way. Real simple, real easy. Just do it. Um, okay, so that's, that's lead. That's what you say. That's what you do, what they win. Um, set up a time. Always have um, a couple options for them. Say, uh you know what? I just had a cancellation tonight. Do you want it at seven? It, it, always say that. It makes you sound busy. It makes it sound like you're getting them in. Um, avoid using the word wrap party. Always say appointment. You know what? At your appointment, if you want to have four people, for every person you can get at your appointment, I'll give you $5 off your wrap. Or I'll give you a free wrap with five or $5 off another wrap. That way they realize that they can go ahead and still book something, whether they can only get one, two, or three people, because they're gonna get five bucks off every person. With five, it's free. With four, it's five dollars. With three, it's ten dollars. You get the picture. Okay, so your goal is to get with them, connect with them, um, make it happen. That's what we're doing. We are connecting with leads. Now, Here's the thing, remember when I talked about timing, it is very crucial that another thing that I like to do is we have online Facebook wrap parties on my team. Every Thursday night we have one in the Pacific time zone and we have one in Eastern time zone. And what I also like to do with all my leads is once a week, I'll take all the leads I've gotten from that week or the last event I did, and I send them all a message saying, hey, it's Lisa, that crazy rap girl. I just wanted to give you a link to an event I'm doing tonight. If you don't have anything to do at eight, click on it, watch it. I give away free stuff, and it's totally fun, and that's all. So it's another way to connect. Now, you know all those old leads that I was talking about, the ones that, um, that, that told you not right now or get back with me later or whatever? Let's talk about the get back to me later. If a lead says, get back with me next week, you put that in your next week folder and you always get back. You continue to get back with that person until they tell you to stop. Every time they give you a date, you call it that date and time. So when somebody says to you, well, I can't right now, you're going to say, well, when do you think you can? Um, did you want me to touch base with you next month or next week? You need to ask for a follow-up, okay? Um, so we've got all those leads, right? All those leads that told us, no, they don't want it right now. It's not their time. They go in a folder. Every single time I have an excuse to contact them, I pull out all of my leads and I send them all a message. Very important that you never put it in a group message. You want people to feel special and individual. So you can copy and paste and change the name, but don't ever send a group message. So here's an example. Every New Year's, I take all my leads from that I've ever had and I do a New Year's drawing. And I simply message them and say, Hi, my name's Lisa. You met me last year at an event. Or you met me last year. I'm that crazy rap girl. I'm doing a New Year's drawing and I took all of my leads from last year and put them in a drawing. And you're one of my winners. When do you want to redeem your prize? Um, I did a Mother's Day drawing from all my mothers of my in my entire business. You're one of my winners. I did a Father's Day drawing. It doesn't matter. Anytime you have an excuse to contact your lead, you contact them. If the company comes out with a new product, you can contact them that way. So there's so many different ways to do it. Um, this is definitely the best way to get with people is get with them. 99% of the people that fail in network marketing fail because they don't follow up and they don't contact their leads. We have leads. We all do. We just don't contact them. Okay, so I think that's good. I think I got you a, a quite a bit of information to go on here, and I hope you guys have some amazing good luck following up with those leads and, and um, 
getting them on Facebook, building that relationship. Watch part two when I talk about building relationships.